and 1070 the zone. DJ, how are you, sir? Good, how you doing? I'm well, man. So uh, 21 points for you tonight, man. What was working for you out there, being that this is your second scrimmage against a, you know, top team in the West? Uh, just getting a rhythm, man. You know, the more games we play, the more guys are getting into rhythm. Um, and just playing hard and just letting the game come to me. Uh, that's all we did tonight. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a good game. I feel we played against a, a really good team, a championship team. And there's things that we could work on and practice tomorrow to get better. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. DJ, even when you guys were down early there, you were doing a good job taking care of the basketball. Uh, you know, how critical was it uh, winning the turnover battle there? And how much did that keep you in the game? Well, it was big, you know, that's that's an important thing moving forward for us as a team, uh, you know, keeping our turnovers down, uh, not giving up easy points in transition. So that's stuff that we're working on in practice, things that we're talking about every day. And uh, those are going to be things that's going to help us win, you know, meaningful games coming forward. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, DJ. There in the first half, you guys got to the free throw line a lot and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, helped keep you guys in the game. Was how much of that was a, a conscious effort on your guys' part to get to the basket, to attack, draw fouls? And how much can free throw shooting kind of settle you down if you're struggling from the field uh, as a team? Yeah, I mean, it's really important. You know, we wanted to be aggressive and, and attack those guys. You know, we knew they were a big team. They, they uh, played great help defense. So we wanted to, to be aggressive and attack and, and, and draw, draw guys in to, to kick for open shots. And, and just getting to the free throw line gives you a chance to, you know, get, a, get some type of rhythm, uh, get a shot up here or, here or there, and, uh, you know, just get you going. Josh Robbins. EJ, it's, a, it's almost tough to believe that the first seeding game is, less, is now six days away. How much urgency do you and your teammates feel to try to uh, uh, smooth out any kinks before then? Yeah, I mean, Coach says it. He says it every day, pretty much. Um, you know, this is not your normal uh, preseason where we have 82 games ahead of us. You know, we have eight really important games coming up, so we don't have as much time for for error, and uh, we have to really get on it and get focused really quick. Nick Friedel, ESPN. DJ, the news came down during your game that Tibbs took the Knicks job. When players ask you what it's like to be coached by Tibbs, what do you tell them? I mean, for me, it was great. You know, I've heard a lot of uh, stories about Tibbs, you know, but um, for me, it was great. I mean, you know, if you don't want to play for a coach that's going to really coach you and be hard on you, you don't want to be great. So um, I love playing for Tibbs. Uh, he was a great coach, great guy, great motivator. So. Um, I'm really happy for him, and, and I'm excited that he, he got that job. That's a great job for him and for that organization. Luke Hattrick, Spectrum Sports. DJ, post-All-Star game, you guys were leading the NBA in scoring. What is your feel for where this team is at offensively through two scrimmages? Uh, I feel like we're making the right plays. You know, there's times where we, we come down and uh, – you know, we're kind of off track. We don't we don't move the ball as much as we should. That's what we was doing before the All-Star break and, and after. So um, we just got to get back to that, trusting the past, trusting each other. And uh, we still have another preseason game and a lot of practices to go before we, we have to really lock in on that. Back to Dan Savage. DJ, you know, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have practices at varying hours of the day and practicing late right before, you know, a game day uh, with an afternoon game. You know, how do you, how do your legs feel and, and how much of a challenge is it getting, you know, adjusting to those different time elements? Yeah, it's definitely a challenge, man. Um, you know, we had practice last night, I think, at 7, a uh, game today at 12. Uh, you know, coach, we had a hard practice yesterday, so it wasn't easy. So um, it's just a matter of you taking care of your body once you get off the court, um, you know, and doing all the right things, eating right, icing, uh, getting your rest, whatever you need to do to be ready to play. It's just it's just strange times for all of us right now in the world, and we got to just make the best of these, these opportunities right now. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. DJ, obviously the bench area is, is considerably different than what you guys are used to. What are some things that you guys can do to sort of you know, overcome the challenges that you guys face with in terms of the spacing and, and, and sort of create the energy that you you guys normally have, uh, you know, from the bench area. You talking about how we, how we seating? How yeah, we, yeah, yes. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, we, we just got to figure something out, man. You know, it's, it's, it's really different. You know, we're, we're not close to each other. We're not able to celebrate how we normally would. Um, but that's not an excuse. We got to find ways to, to bring that, that bench energy for the guys out there playing hard. And, um, you know, that's another adjustment that we have to, we have to um, try to overcome. And, um, you know, we have time to do so. I got time for a couple more. Eric Wilson. Hey, DJ, a lot of players, um, you know, throughout this season, most, uh, pretty much all of you are, are speaking out on the social injustices. Uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, the fact that it's been 100 plus days and Breonna Taylor's murderers have still not been called to justice. Yeah, man, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's tough, man. You know, we're here to do a job and, and play basketball and, and try to win a championship, but we're also here to, to use our voice and our platform. And I think guys are doing a great job by, you know, the things we're doing off the court, um, you know, the jersey, the jersey names we are able to use um, and just speaking up, we're using our platforms and I'm just happy to be a part of the NBA at this time where, where we can all do so as a, as a group. Any other questions for DJ Augustine? Okay, thank you, DJ. All right, no problem. All right, everyone, that concludes.